Hi guys, welcome to this session of uh, SPPM SAM1 Biology Analysis. Um, you'll be sitting for your SAM1 exams next week, starting from the what? 15th, uh, starting from the 15th of February 2022. Uh, uh, regardless whether you are a SAM1 student, yeah, or even if you are a SAM3 SPPM student. Meaning you retake. <laughs> There's nothing to be shy about. Yeah. Meaning you retake. <laughs> okay, so um this session is to help you get a better idea of what to expect for next week's bio paper. Okay, so guys, let me share screen. Huh? Uh okay, this one here. So I have attached. Okay, guys, I've attached the SAM1 analysis, meaning, meaning from the year 2013 all the way to what came out last year. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, uh, we will look at topically what came out before, number one. Number two, what to expect for that topic and what to not bother so much. Because like it or not, um, you cannot skip any topic at all. That's number one. That's rule number one, I would say. Uh, but, but you can always um, check what is crucial for, for that particular year. Like, definitely, definitely. So guys, without further ado, uh, uh, if you have many, many colors of pen and highlighters, I suggest you take it out now. We, we, really, we really need it. We really need it. Okay, so guys. Uh, make sure you have printed this handout. Make sure you have printed this handout. I will straight away start with chapter one. Okay, I'll straight away start with chapter one. Uh, I'll just write here chapter one. So chapter one, what came out for the past seven years? Let's find out. Huh? So last last year. Nucleic acid came out. Nucleic acid came out. Nucleic acid meaning DNA and RNA. If you have done the questions, uh, it is to do with the bonds, the bases. Uh, so is it an easy question? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Last year was DNA, RNA. The year before, they asked about polar, non-polar amino acid. Then 2019, 2019 formation and breakdown of maltose. Guys, you can check the past year book. The question is as short as describe formation and breakdown of maltose. Three marks, seven marks, three marks. Alpha glucose, alpha glucose, you get one mark. Yeah, these two undergo condensation, another mark. The product is maltose and the byproduct is, uh, or another product is water water molecule. Breakdown is hydrolysis. Okay, so that is quite easy to score this question. Okay, 2018 structure of hemoglobin, meaning it falls under protein, that subtopic falls under protein. Guys, 2017 collagen, 2017 collagen, Okay, these are for students who thought that you don't need any drawing at all in chapter one. Guys, I, I mean, if you are my student watching this, you know I emphasize quite a lot on drawing in chapter one. You need to know how to draw alpha glucose, beta glucose, ribose, deoxyribose, cholesterol, testosterone. These basic six you have to know. Yeah. Again, uh, again, uh, alpha glucose, beta glucose, uh, ribose, deoxyribose, then cholesterol, testosterone. As you know how to draw, uh, as you learn how to draw alpha, beta glucose, 
you automatically control the drawing for uh, maltose as well. Okay, because alpha glucose with alpha glucose, we get maltose. So look at 2016. Draw and label the cholesterol. Then from there, then from there, they want the function of cholesterol. All right. I think still can ask. I think they still can ask, but I keep it for later. So 2015, they are starch, 2014, RNA, DNA, then protein, amino acids. Okay, protein, amino acids. Huh? Okay, before I talk about what is important for chapter one, I think the first thing that I want to get off my chest is that, guys, every year, minimum five topics. Minimum five out of six topics they will ask. And there's no way of knowing which topic they won't ask. So you cannot follow. I mean, I don't encourage you guys to follow tips at all. Uh. Oh, sir, uh, there are people saying that question 16, this will come out 17, 18, 19, 20. I think it's suicide. If you want to do that in the first place, why are you in STPM? Yeah, this is not the way. Uh, huh? Okay, so yeah, chapter one, guys. Chapter one, what to focus on? For chapter one, there's no sequencing. La. I would say all these are rather important. Uh, first be water, guys. Water, what to study? Study the properties relate to the function. Relate to the function. Okay, uh, for example, let's say physical properties. Oh, it is transparent. Aquatic animals can 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 uh, what you call it? Can look at their surrounding. Are able to see their surrounding. Okay, uh, then talk about high specific heat capacity, high latent heat of vaporization. Yeah, high density at uh, a certain temperature. High density at uh, four degrees Celsius. Yeah. So those are the properties relate to the function. Please relate to the function. Okay. Okay. This is for water. This is for water. Uh, carbohydrate. I put it as. No, no, no. Okay. Leave, leave it first. Okay. Now, let me tell you what's important first. Water is important, properties and function. Then lipid. Lipid, lipid, uh, you have to read through triglyceride, but not that crucial. Uh. I would say these two are more important because this is SPM stuff. Triglyceride is SPM. So the extra thing that you are learning here is phospholipid. Guys, specific example include lecithin. And we also have steroid. Yeah, steroid. Uh, steroid, this is where you have to know cholesterol. And speaking of cholesterol, let me draw one star here. If you have the Basia book, the blue book, this book, I have a lot of Basia books. I have a lot of Basia books. Let me tell you how many I have. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven Basia books. Yeah, uh, if you have, uh, I mean, if you are buying from popular now, it's definitely this one. Yeah, if you bought from popular last year, it's this one. Okay, then a book that you definitely won't have, or, where, or maybe just one or two of you might have is this one. Yeah, but, but there's no point for you to have this also because it's uh, combined the old syllabus, my timer, my STPM. So if you have this, make sure you try uh, STPM 2016 Sam 1. Uh. The one I draw one star. Okay, this one. Uh. I draw one star. Get to know the functions, how to draw. I taught my students how to draw. So you, if you are not sure now, it's time to get used to the diagram. Uh. Okay, 
uh, water done, lipid done. Then as for nice as for carbohydrate, uh, okay, before carbohydrate. Now before carbohydrate, you have to know the you have to know the analytical technique still. Analytical technique means paper chromatography and electrophoresis. Paper chromatography and electrophoresis. Huh? Okay, if they want to ask you, if they want to ask you a surprise question, guys, why I use the word surprise question is because uh, you can, I mean, this is from my own point of view, my own POV point of view. Uh. Whatever came out that particular year, the next year, 85 to 90% won't repeat. Paham tak? Whatever came out, okay? Soalan-soalan yang keluar tahun lepas, minggu depan, mereka takkan tanya. Uh, sorry, sebanyak 85% sampai 90%. This, this 85 to 90% here, they won't repeat. Okay, so how about those that repeat? High likelihood they would switch. Switch meaning from structure they can bring down to essay. Lah. Okay, so when I say surprise question, when I say surprise question, meaning something that maybe came out last year. Okay, anyway, just have a look at the structure. Can you see? Uh, Let's say these two, uh, the following year, is it the same? Different. These two, different from the other two. Guys, you can check. Uh, every year, the structure is not repetitive. I'm saying that the year before, whatever came out in structure, that that, uh, that particular year, oh, sorry, the, the next year won't come out. Last year came out crap cycle in structure. This year won't come out crap cycle in structure. Okay. So surprise question means that they still can ask this, but they ask you to compare in essay. Lah. They can ask you to compare RNA, compare with DNA differences, let's say five marks in essay. Okay. Uh, they, can, they can still ask you, they can still ask you something related to protein. Guys, just read through one round. Just read through one round. Because you see here, they ask you to differentiate polar, non-polar. They ask you to differentiate polar, non-polar. There is a slight chance if they ask you this, uh, it might be structured. But not too high chance, uh, I feel. Not too high. Uh. Yeah, surprise question. And finally, uh, they can ask you to compare the properties of monohybrid or dihybrid versus poly. Sorry, sorry. Monosaccharide, disaccharide versus polysaccharide, either one. They can ask you either one compared to polysaccharide in terms of the properties. Okay, in terms of the properties. So surprise question wise, I think this is what they can, they can try to ask you. Is that all? Water, yeah, water properties you have to know. You must know how to explain. Okay, uh, one last thing. Because I yeah, if they if you are studying polysaccharide, sorry, if you are studying carbohydrate, focus a little bit more on carbo uh, on, on polysaccharide. Okay, if you are studying carbo, please focus a little bit more on uh, polysaccharide. Okay, so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, finally I remembered. Okay, so they can ask you to, they can ask you this way. Compare and contrast, compare and contrast RNA versus DNA. What, five marks? Or they can ask you, Huraikan, explain structure of DNA. 
explain structure of DNA. Okay. Yeah. DNA is made up of two polynucleotide strands. Uh, complementary bases ATGC. Yeah, they are anti-parallel. What's the diameter? Uh, what's the what's the length? One turn got how many bases? Right. So guys, uh, this is what you must focus on for chapter one. Before you read the rest, before you read the remaining of chapter one. Okay. In fact, talking about topics, I was just telling my evening class just now. I had an evening class uh, just now the, for, for, for this one. Uh, same thing, uh, my own students. Uh. Uh, I told them, if you revise term one as TPM value, uh, you start with chapter two. I think it's a mistake from the start. Um, simply because chapter two is the longest topic. And as you know, there's a bit here and there. It's the longest topic. It's the longest topic. Even my tuition notes, the book comes to 50 pages. Yeah. So I would suggest that chapter two, you leave it for the last. Chapter two, you leave it as the last topic to revise. Uh. Okay, number one. Uh, number two is that after you cleared all the important ones, like chapter one, you read through all these, chapter three, uh, chapter three, chapter four, five, six, then only you go through two. After chapter two, then only you read the remaining ones. Uh, okay? The remaining ones, which I did not list down here. Uh, one last time, huh? You want to start from one to six also can, six to one also can, but leave two at the very end. Read through all the important stuff, chapter one, chapter three, chapter four, five, six, then chapter two. Finish that, then only you cover the rest, which is not in the list here. Okay, so guys, uh, this is for chapter one. Let's look at chapter two. Let me change to blue color. Okay. Okay, guys, let's look at chapter two. Okay, chapter two. Chapter two did not come out last year. <laughs> guys, chapter two did not come out last year. I kid you not. Didn't ask. You can check. Nothing here. Last year don't have. Uh, throughout the whole list, they skip two years. They skip two years, all right? So last year don't have a uh, 2020. They asked a lot about parenchyma. Then the year before, epithelial tissue. Uh, yeah. Amylase secretion in pancreatic cells. What else? 2017. Uh, uh, differential centrifugation. In fact, I would expect it a bit this year. So wait, I'll come to that. Xylem and then epithelial tissue, guys. Then lysosome here. Lysosome here. You see, uh, for, for every year which they didn't ask, lah, this is what I, I observed. Lah. You see, like here they didn't ask chapter two. When they ask, it's a whole question. It's a whole question, you know. They didn't ask chapter two. So it's a whole question, very heavy, 50 marks. Okay, they ask small component. They ask small component. They ask small component. This is a whole question. My point is this, we look at the two years they didn't ask, after that come out very heavy. So, tahun lepas tak tanya means this year. I don't know guys, if you're saying very heavy, that's what you're saying. Huh? <laughs> that's, I mean, your, your prediction. Huh? Okay, so um, chapter two is the longest topic. Leave it to the very end. Let me divide this into several parts. Now, the very first part of chapter two, I think this is important. 
guys, they can ask you to compare prokaryotic cell versus eukaryotic cell. Okay, prokaryotic versus eukaryotic. You need to remember seven differences. Seven. Two joule per bizarre. Next. Okay, for organelles, okay, I'm, I'm just going to switch here a bit more. Okay, for organelles, uh, if they do want to ask you in terms of organelles, uh, uh, they can ask Golgi. They can pair with lysosome. They can ask rough ER. They can ask smooth ER. These are the more common ones they can ask. I mean, higher chance to ask. If you check, actually, here's also got. In the year 2019, they asked mitochondria and chloroplasts. Function importance, like this is one question. Okay. Uh, so can they mix with other subtopics? Definitely. They can, for example, this one. From here, follow up with differential centrifugation. Because this one is to this one is to separate the organelles. And here they can ask organelles. So kalau soalan ini keluar should be a structure if they really want to ask. See? Prokaryotic versus eukaryotic can be assay. But if they want to ask organelles this way, including centrifugation, uh, can be structured. Okay, next. Okay, organel done. Uh. Uh, cells. Oh, well, one more thing. Uh, differential centrifugation or microscope? Electron microscope. So far, never touch. They never touch on microscope at all in, in uh, from question from question 15, 16. Yeah, 16, because objective 1 to 15. So 16 to 20, yeah. They can ask this way. Like, they ask you about the electron microscope, then lead to the organelles, and then function, then importance. Okay, next. Mm. Now. This is geared a little bit more towards assay. Like. This is more towards assay. If they want to ask, I would say they can ask compact bone. Not easy, I know. Guys, I know it's not easy, but doesn't mean cannot come out. So, but memang ada dalam sukatan. Okay. Uh, a bit lower chance would be cartilage. They can ask you to explain cartilage. A bit lower chance. I'm keeping through chapter two. Ah, habis, habis. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, this also this one also can be an essay, lah. This one also can be an essay by itself. Can gabon in structure can become an essay by itself. Okay. And um. Now they ask very thorough. They ask very thoroughly in terms of ground tissue. Ground tissue meaning here parenchyma. And if you check 201, uh, 7. 2017, they ask parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma. Among the three, uh, the most things to, to come up, most things to study is actually parenchyma, but they ask very detailed just two years ago. You can scan through one time, but I think higher chance this time around should be xylem phloem. Higher chance this time around should be xylem phloem. Okay, and in terms of surprise question, surprise question means, ah yeah, this one came out. <laughs> in terms of surprise question, I would say that 
I categorize compact bone as a surprise question. Uh, because no, no, no one really expects that to come out. Okay. Uh, if compact bone, epithelium still can still can ask. Epithelium still can ask the few types. Make sure you go through. Although came out just here. Although came out before. Uh, three years ago. Three years ago. All right. And so I find that chapter two is very long. I find that chapter two is very long. What should I keep towards the very end to study? Eh? Guys, I think if you find chapter two is very long, you need not touch, you need not go through nervous system, eh? nervous tissue. Nervous tissue don't need. Uh, this is connectivity. Compact bone is connective. In terms of muscle, eh, you cannot say, oh, sir, can I don't study the whole thing? Okay, this is where I would say that there might be a possibility whereby they ask you to explain the structure of cardiac muscle. Okay, the other two, if you want to forego first, can cardiac and, uh, sorry, sorry, cardiac, okay. uh, smooth and straighted. Smooth and straighted. Wow. Smooth and straighted. You can forego first. This one you can forego first. Yeah, leave towards the very end. Uh. And then the, the ground tissue. Uh, the ground tissue. Okay, so guys, just to recap. I would expect them to ask about either, either one structure or maybe even one essay for chapter two. Yeah, I would expect that to happen in your paper next week. So what to cover? Prokaryotic versus eukaryotic. Organelles focus on this few. Of course, the rest, if you've got time, you, need, you can cover. Uh. They, they can govern with differential centrifugation or electron microscope. Okay, compact bone, make sure you know Silent flow worm, surprise question, the types of epithelium, then this one can come out. Explain structure of cardiac muscle. Right. Okay, moving on to chapter three. Okay, guys, moving on to chapter three. Yeah. Uh, chapter three, chapter three. I think I'll just use okay. I'm going to use green color now, but my highlighter, I'm going to I agree green also. Green also. Okay, I'm going to write chapter three. Uh, see, this three BG thing is blocking me, always blocking me. Okay, so sad news for students who are good in water potential. Sad news. For students who are going water potential, last year cover cow cow already. Last year they already asked very thorough. Can they still ask? I think very low chance. I'll tell you later what they can ask if they still forcefully want to ask this question. Yeah. Okay, so 2021, one very complete question of bug tree in structure. 2020. Oh, didn't ask. Yeah. In, in the year 2020, they didn't ask. That's why here is one full structure. Okay, as for 2019, it was facilitated, facilitated diffusion. Uh, assay, guys, assay you check, uh, most of the time plasma membrane. Uh, but, but now a bit lesser chance. Uh. Plasma membrane, here water potential, then 2013, plasma membrane. Uh, here, membrane protein, water potential. Hey, how about 214 donor? 214 donor. 213, there's still one. There is supposed to be one more. Uh, cycling, no cycling. Hey, okay, that's all. Okay, okay. I feel good. They didn't ask. Oh, this is this is actually part of it. 
Okay, guys, chapter three. Chapter three, yeah. Uh, the common thing they ask, the common thing they, they, the, no, sorry. The best thing for them to ask is always water potential. But last year already asked, can they still ask you a small part? I think can. I think can. But sir, uh, I checked last year's paper, they asked. Uh, guys, I'm not too sure. If, if you do not know, you can refer. Huh? Uh, so I remember the question. They gave two cells. They asked to calculate the water potential. Then from that, they immerse. Rendam dalam air suling. They immerse in distilled water. And then ask us to calculate. Yeah. And then they ask why, uh, why something like why pure water always... Why pure water, why, why the highest value of water potential is zero? Something like that. They are something along that line. So you see, they covered many parts, but I think the one thing they, they still can answer, they can ask you, they give you the cell still, but they ask you in terms of turbo pressure. They ask you in terms of turbo pressure. They ask you in terms of incipient plasmolysis. They ask you in terms of full plasmolysis. Or maybe even champo a little bit of hemolysis. Hemolysis cremation, that hemolysis. This is the best thing to ask for this topic. Lah. Yeah. Uh, so is there something they never asked before? What? Endocytosis and exocytosis. Endo and exocytosis possible to us, possible to us. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, plasma membrane. Okay. Plasma membrane, if you want to study, uh, make sure you study the role of these few things. Uh. Study the role of cholesterol, phospholipid, uh, then, then the proteins, because got different classes of protein, but they did us here. Long time ago. Where is it? Uh, this one. Hey, no. Oh, yeah, green color. Here, here, here. Uh, green color should be this one. Classes of protein. Classes of protein. Okay. Now, if they want to ask, if they want to ask, they can also ask glycoprotein. Okay. So if you study the plasma membrane, make sure you go through all this. Huh? Um, active transport osmosis, read through one round. Active transport osmosis, just, just read through one round. Okay, so guys, this is chapter three. This is chapter three. Chapter four, orange. Huh? Now, chapter four. Uh, last year they came out, they asked the naturation of enzymes, biosensor, biosensor. The year before line weaver bird plot, if you remember the graph, then 2019 competitive, non-competitive. Oh yeah, here there's cofactor as well. Okay, then 2018 enzyme, enzyme immobilization, uh, 2017, now here cofactor, Okay, enzyme immobilization, uh, KM, VMAX. Uh, this one, 2014, no chapter 4. Again, enzyme immobilization, biosensor. Okay. So uh, chapter 4, because it's not 
Chapter 4, because it's not really a long topic. Huh? Um, at the very top, I mean, got chance to come out, got chance to come out. The, the thing that has chance to come out is this, uh, classification of enzyme, according to IUB. Because they never really asked this before. They never really asked this before, guys. Okay? Factors affecting rate of reaction, classification of enzyme, then uh, inhibitor still can. Inhibitor still can, but this is quite simple if it comes up. Inhibitor still can. Uh, KMV max, uh, guys, you must know how to calculate KMV max. You must know to calculate KMV max, but this one came out two years ago. Came out two years ago, but still a slight, slight chance, uh, very low chance. So inhibitor cofactor KMV max, then that that would cover your full topic with it. Okay. Okay, guys. Moving on to chapter. Moving on to chapter five. Yeah, it's back up. Okay, chapter five. I was telling them this evening, ah, uh, love it, hate it. You must know glycolysis and Krebs cycle. But at the top. Number one on my list would be EPC, electron transport carrier. Okay, I'm going to color it like blue color. So, aerobic number of ATP, cyanide. Effect of cyanide on aerobic. Huh? Then, Krebs cycle came out two years ago, vigorous activities. Prep cycle, glycolysis, ETC, uh, prep cycle, cyclic, non cyclic, hey, cyclic, non cyclic, that one is box six. Fermentation, okay, this one, prep cycle. Okay, now. Like it or not, you must know how to explain this tree. Lah. But, but to me, ETC is the most important one. ETC is the most important one for your particular, for your exam. Okay, next. Okay, now after that, uh, this one. Is it this? Okay, next. How uh, how energy is produced from fat and protein. This is a bit more of a surprise question, guys. A little bit more of a surprise question. If this one come out a lot, also can't find. Then uh, last but not least, ATP calculation. ATP calculation, yeah. Oh, let me double check. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see for this. Now, for anaerobic, uh, they can ask yeast or muscle cell. Uh. This one I'm sure you already know. Uh. and the effect of carbon monoxide. So far, they asked cyanide. They haven't really asked carbon monoxide. They haven't really asked carbon monoxide. Okay. Hey okay, guys, one last time, uh, make sure you know these three. Uh, although Krebs cycle already asked until, yeah, quite saturated. 
Okay, coming to the end, we look at chapter six. Look at chapter six. Uh, chapter six. Uh, sad news for 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 I think most of the students. Yeah. Uh, because last year already asked cyclic photo phosphorylation and then chem plants. They ask chem. They ask uh, light dependent already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then the previous year. Uh, C four. The previous C4. So C4 can already ask. Okay. All right. So here, chapter six. Uh, this is chapter six. Uh, hatch and slack, meaning C4. La. That's ETC. ETC is blue color. Uh, compare cyclic, non cyclic. Okay, where is my oh, red color? Okay, Com where is it? Compare cyclic, okay, compare cyclic, non cyclic ATP generator. Yeah, okay, so, uh, so what can they ask for chapter six? What can they ask for chapter six? They can ask you to compare structure of C3 versus C4 plant. Can come out structure, can come out assay. Can come out structure, can come out assay. Okay. They can they can ask you photo respiration. Okay, they can ask you photo respiration. They can ask you uh, Kelvin cycle, but I think Kelvin cycle is too easy uh, because Kelvin cycle is embedded in CAM and C4. Kelvin cycle is a bit too easy. Uh, unless they put a structure question, never before, uh, they put light dependent, light reaction, light dependent reaction, then gabo with. Uh, Kelvin cycle. Okay. Glass light be that light dependent that cyclic and non-cyclic. Cyclic and non-cyclic. So they can ask you to compare. They can ask you to compare. Yeah, yeah. They can ask you. Oh, yeah, yeah. One more thing, one more thing. Uh, this should be at the very top. Absorption and action spectrum. <laughs> Absorption and action spectrum. Okay. All right. Okay, number one. Uh, I will say this one. I will say this one on limiting factors of photosynthesis, they are at the very top. Then compare C three C four photo respiration, meaning oxygen can fight with CO two for the same active site. Yeah, this reduces the efficiency of photosynthesis. Okay, plus this is fingertip. This is actually fingertip. So these are the three lah. Okay, guys, I hope you gained a bit from this particular session. It's nothing, nothing much. Lah. It's nothing much. Lah. It's, just a, it's, just, it's just to know what to expect um, next week. Okay, number one. Number two, if you have, because um, my students who follow me from day one, definitely they have done past year questions from 2005 to 2010. They have um, either gotten Gotten means uh, they, they, they do have the soft copy la, or they yeah they, they have the soft copy 2013, 2014. 
then we do a them all these past year in class 2015 2020 okay uh, they did they did self study for these three years self study means uh, try the question and then check check themselves uh, other than that i've done with them uh, these 10 years these 10 years okay guys if you have all these years, uh, please make sure you go through. Number two, um, following what I gave you today, okay, it won't be 100% percent la. Yeah, it won't be 100%, but it's around there. It's around there. Go through all the important subtopics that I gave you. Then if got time, guys, if got time, only you go through the remaining ones. Okay. And when you go through the, the, the past year questions, browse through enough. Browse through enough. Okay. As every year I have I have one or two straight A students. This is the method. This is the method. Okay. So yeah, that's all from that's all from uh, me today. Uh, wishing you guys happy Chinese New Year and good luck in your in your Sam One exam. Uh, if you wish to join me in Sam Two, I'm starting the Monday after you finish your Sam One <laughs> because Sam Two is much longer compared to Sam One. I always say this Sam One is easy. You don't feel it now, but you feel it in. Three months time. Sam one is easy. Sam two is long. Sam three is deep. Yeah, long and deep. I mean, long for two, deep for three. But students always get the wrong idea. Okay, guys, good luck. Um, I wish you all the best. Cheers. Yes.